Today we are going to be unboxing two knives. I considered separating this into two different videos, but I didn't. I figured let's just leave it all in together and make it one big one. Let's get to it. Every time you unbox something, you need a knife. The Spider Coast Mock. I'm going to start with the Wii because I'm more excited about the Spider Coast. The Wii Knives Elementum. Uh, I thought my jokes were bad. This is the Wii Knives Elementum. So all these edges are very, very nicely rounded all around these edges. And the outside of the fillet, there is a chamfer that goes down. They're using the same Wii pocket clip uh, that they use on everything. Wish they would have given it like a gold aesthetic instead of that darkened bronze to kind of match the pivot collar and the hardware right there. The blade is perfectly centered. There is no detent lash. Does appear to have an over travel stop with a stainless steel insert. Interestingly enough, on the old Elementum, they have a shadow box liner. Here they kept that same feeling and they just milled out the titanium for the lanyard hole. So the action flips nice enough, feels good in hand. You can feel the rounded edges, but I can also feel this deep carry pocket clip. A non-deep carry might have made more sense here. All in all, look, I know this is gimmicky, I know that this knife's a gimmick, but it is a really well-made design. There's a reason that it's popular. But I wonder if it'll cut. Out of the box, it is sharp enough. It's not the sharpest thing, but I feel like Wii and Civivi have been slacking on that a little bit lately. Am I mad that they made a Wii version of the Elementum? No, I get it. And it's not a bad knife. Wii will just Civivi where it goes. It's a little bit larger than I thought. Eh? So the centering is dead nuts on. There is no detent lash. There definitely seems to be an ambidextrous and, what is that, unilateral tip-up, tip-down carry function here. The carbon fiber on this feels very similar to the Sage 5 and the Spider Cocanus. Let's flip it. First and foremost, no back and forth, no up and down. The thumb flip works pretty good. It is a liner lock and it's locking up right around 30%-ish, which is good for a brand new knife. As you can see here, there's a little bit of milling on these liners. Not much, and this knife definitely feels stout. In hand, this actually feels really good, and I kind of get the hype, and this is why I was super excited to get this. First flick. So after all them flips, I'm definitely feeling why it's hard to access the liner a little bit. And the liner is relatively aggressive, so it doesn't feel the greatest right away. So I can totally see why people might take that out just a little bit. This blade shape is so utilitarian with this deep hollow grind. Yeah, it's gonna be a beast. M4 blade steel, Taichung, Taiwan. Gil Bradley Weatherford. She is definitely sharp enough. Pocket check, today I'm gonna be carrying. Pocket check for the day. Today I'm gonna be carrying both of these. If you guys liked the video, don't forget to subscribe. Other than that, have a great freaking day.